I'm a gray digger. I'm a okay, okay, okay. It's your boy Omega. We back here with another one. Y'all know what it is. Bossy YouTube. We run these streets. Let's get it. So we're gonna start this with a rest in peace to take off and Quavo just know that you're gonna have to live with the fact that your actions is the reason why your brother's gone, man. Cause you wanna act up over what? Y'all need to take notes, man, and think before you do shit. Take off was just chilling, man, minding his own business and get sick. Now let's get into this. Now let's talk about what this trees is saying, right? And I ain't trying to hear none of this police shit, none of this snitching shit, none of that. Cause if I could find it on social media, then that means that police could find it on social media. I'm just sharing and this is all alleged to begin with. So I ain't trying to hear none of that shit. So we all know that it was said that take off entourage and all that, you know, there was firing shots and they accidentally hit take off with a straight bullet, right? But we also know that people from the other side was returning fire. You know what I mean? Some of the mob tie dudes was returning fire. So it was a shootout. Now, word is that this gentleman right here, literally right after the shoot and went live, bragging about getting into a shootout and then deleted the line right after when he found out that somebody passed away. Now, how stupid can you be? You think that nobody's got that live? You think people is not talking about it? So I don't know how true it is, man. Y'all let me know if y'all heard the same thing, but I'm hearing that he went live bragging about getting into a shootout at the damn bowling spot or whatever the case may be. And then once the news broke that somebody passed away, he deleted the live. Now the thing is, I looked into it and this dude is signed to J Prince Jr. Mop Tive Records, right? So he's an artist from down there. And it's suspect, man, that this is the third person that has died surrounding them dudes in Houston. Don't be surprised when the feds come snatching them dudes up. Their name is ringing way too much for them dudes to not be picked up or questioned. Now, we also got J Prince walking right by take off like nothing. Bro, you over here talking about, I got you, Quavo, whatever the case may be. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm here for you. But yet, the dude's laying right there. There's footage of you walking right past him while he's laying dead on the floor. And he just kept it moving. A lot of people not happy about that. A lot of people saying your hands is involved with too much shit. Bro, if you ain't getting picked up, then you must be working for the feds or something, man. Because how the fuck your name is always coming up and shit and you haven't got picked up or... You know what I'm saying? Hit with a Rico yet. That shit is coming soon. Keep playing games down south in Houston and everybody that keeps surrounding themselves around these dudes, man. Rest in peace to take off, man. That's crazy how you just walk past them like nothing just happened. Like take off wasn't just laying right there on the ground next to him, bro. That's some grimy ass shit. Explain that. <laughs> and let's not forget the fact that Little Dirk, this industry shit is shady, man. Little Dirk was all over the news about telling and all of a sudden. How do they change the narrative? By hitting you with a celebrity's death. Bam, here, take that. Forget about dirt. You know what I mean? They control the narrative, man. Pay attention, man. This industry shit is shady as fuck. I appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment. Let's get it. I'm a gray digger. I gotta be the most underrated nigga in these YouTube streets, man. I gotta be. Subscribe, like, and comment in this bitch. Join the movement. Let's get it. Omega Drip exclusive. I'm a gray nigga. Flash it out like Blaze nigga.